In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, manage your indents for your paragraphs and also the spacing for the paragraphs as well. Now, first of all, um, I want to show you that you, you really should turn on your ruler. So the ruler is up here at the very top. And if you don't have that on, uh, what you do is you pick on the view menu up top. And then under view, you make sure a ruler is checked like that. Okay, so the ruler is going to be up here. There's also going to be one on the side. And it can be really helpful uh, when you're managing your paragraph indents. Now, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and uh, highlight this paragraph. Now, here's a way to highlight a paragraph. You can triple click on one of the words. I'll triple click and it actually highlights the entire paragraph. Now, look at the ruler. So you have these three icons up here. Uh, it looks like an hourglass, but there's actually three different sections. The first uh, one that's hanging down is for the first line only. All right. So if I drag that over, notice how only the first line of the paragraph is moving in. So the one that's hanging down here, that's called the first line indent. On the other hand, look at this one that's pointing up. That's going to control every other line. And that's actually how you can make a hanging indent. Notice how every other line in the paragraph uh, is moving in. All right, so when you move this one that's pointing up, when you move that back and forth, uh, that's called the hanging indent. And that manages every other line except for the first line in the paragraph. Now, when you use the rectangle, that drags the whole thing over. See how the whole paragraph is moving as a unit now. So when we take a look at those icons, uh, the first one that's hanging down is for the first line only. The one that is pointing up, that's for every other line in the paragraph. See how that's working? And then the one that is a rectangle is going to move the whole thing back and forth uh, as a whole. Now, a lot of people forget about the one that's on the right-hand side as well. Now, that's going to control the right indent. So notice how... Uh, now the right indent is uh, being modified for that paragraph as well. Now, by the way, if I had more than one paragraph uh, highlight, then you know all the paragraphs that were highlighted would have changed as well. So this is for the right indent of the paragraph over there. Now, another thing that you want to know about is uh, line spacing. So if we pick on the home menu, uh, here is an icon for the line spacing. All right. And you can change the single space and, and these kind of things. Now, uh, I always like the uh, screen in the previous versions of Word that were called Format Paragraph. Let me show you where you can get to that. Actually, if you pick on Line Spacing Options, then it brings you back to the classic screen that's called Format Paragraph. Now, uh, over here, you can change the line spacing. Here is another place, by the way, to change the, uh, the indents. Okay, uh, so you can do it right on this screen as well. And then let's make it single spaced. Now, sometimes even when it's single spaced, there might be spaces before or after that paragraph. And that's what these settings are for over here. So I'm going to make that zero. And I'll make the after the paragraph zero as well. All right. So this, uh, we used to call this screen format paragraph. And you can see how it's another way you can change the indents or the spacing for the paragraph. And I'm going to click on OK. Uh, now, uh, the way we got into that was we picked on the home menu. You can either click on the uh, icon here and say line spacing options. And that's going to bring you back to that screen. Or another way to get there is you pick on the home menu and you pick on the, uh, the little uh, arrow right there next to the word paragraph. And that'll bring you back to the same screen as well. Now, uh, another thing we can do with our paragraphs is you can uh, hit the these two icons here. This will move the whole thing over to the right, and this one will move the whole thing over to the left. So between the icons on the ruler, uh, the going into format paragraph, and then also using these two icons over here, that's how we can manage um, our tat, our indents, and our spacing within a paragraph.